Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Friday, May 24th, 2024, breaking down the Friday night slate here, guys. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are, where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. Questions fire away as well as we got first game up here, 640 Eastern, Toronto Blue Jays and the Detroit Tigers. It's Matt Manning going for the Tigers, Alex Manoa going for the Jays, so two righties. Pick them price tag here, minus 105 on each side. Total of eight and the hook. This is first game up in terms of uh, start time, guys. 640 with the Jays coming in. What, three games under 500, as are the Detroit Tigers. Tigers lost five straight, four straight coming into the series, and then uh, the first game in this one. And really the story here, guys, Alex Manoa, the Blue Jays starter, he's had some trouble of, you know, pretty recent. Go back like a half a season, a full season. He's been a little bit rough, but his last two starts, He's been a whole lot better. He's got his ERA down to three. And when he's pitching on the road, he hasn't let up a run yet, a zero ERA. So we're going to ride that trend here on the Jays. Plus the fact, I was just talking to Gabe Marinci about this. You know, the Blue Jays schedule was tough in the beginning. They're under 500 now. They're, they're, they're facing the White Sox in a couple series. They got the Tigers here. I think they're able to kind of claw back into this AL East, you know, wild card race in the American League. We'll see if it happens. I'm going to bet on them here in this spot. Up against Manning, the starting pitcher here for the Tigers. High prospect guy, former first rounder, but the numbers really aren't there yet in the show. He's got near a 5 ERA, gave up 10 hits last time out. Going up against the Jays lineup, seeing the ball a lot better of recent. I think the Jays are the side here in the Motor City. Minus 105 on Toronto to start us off. Next game up, we'll head to the Queen City, 710 Eastern. It's the LA Dodgers and the Cincinnati Reds. Graham Ashcroft going for the Reds. James Paxton, the Southpaw, going for the Dodgers. Minus 160, that's LA as the road favorite. Nine in the hook, the total in Cincy. LA comes in 33 and 19, one of the best records in baseball. They've won five straight when Paxton is on the hill. So he's not one of their, you know, better known starters coming into the season, but they've been winning games when he's there. He's got a sub three ERA, his last three starts, 19 innings, four earned runs. So he's riding a hot hand here. It is back to back against Cincinnati at a decent start against them. It's also back to back for, for Graham Ashcraft, the red starter as well. So always an interesting handicap when that happens. I do think it favors the Dodgers side of things because you go over full season metrics, you know, team OPS, weighted runs created. This is the best lineup in baseball. Number two against righties. They're facing a righty here. So, uh, hey, we got to also throw out there the Cincinnati Reds, 20 and 30. They got the hot start to the season, but sitting at 20 and 30 right now, what, four and 16 in the month of May? Don't want to catch a falling knife here in the big red machine. They might be that falling knife. So we'll go on the Dodgers. Don't want to lay that big of a price tag. I th As the away team, guys, we talked about it, you know, kind of situations to bet the run line. I think this is one. Let's go on the Dodgers, listing James Paxton as the starter and lay the one and a half with L.A. on the road. From Cincinnati to New York, City Field to be exact. It's the San Francisco Giants and the New York Mets for our third game. 7-10 Eastern here. It's Harrison going for the Giants. Scott going for the Metropolitans. Looks like the Mets minus 135 now. They've taken some money since the opener. Total of eight. As high as minus 140, actually. Harrison going here for the Giants, who have won two straight, both of dogs going into this series. 3.6 ERA. He's 4-1 and one on the season. He's only 22 years old. He was drafted in 2020 out of high school. De La Salle High School there in California. Um, his numbers decent overall. And the Giants lineup, one of the hottest, if not the top, depending what metrics you want to go off of, over the last week, they've been pretty good against righties as well. They're going up against Scott, the Mets pitcher. I haven't got eyes on him too much this season. He's a former uh, Florida Gator, drafted in the fifth round. He has three starts, 3.4 ERA. He is off of his worst start of the season. Interestingly enough, against the Miami Marlins. So I think he's taken a step up in uh, in class here against the Giants lineup. But really spot-wise for the Mets, this is their first game home off of a three-city road trip. Don't like that spot. Plus the fact, I mean, they're 21 and 28, seven games under. They're only 10 and 14 at home. And they're 5 and 13, their last 18. They're not playing great baseball this month either. 
going up against the Giants here in that hot lineup. Harrison as the starter. Let's go with the Giants. Plus price here, guys. Plus 127. Risk 100 to win 127 on the kickback. Think the dog is barking. We'll go from New York to the Windy City on the south side here. The Chicago White Sox hosting the Baltimore Orioles. 740 Eastern start. It's Corbin Burns going for the O's. Chris Flexen, the former KBO star, going for the White Sox. Total of eight heavy favorites here. That's Baltimore on the road, minus 240. The Baltimore Orioles went over 100 series without being swept. Well, they just got swept by the Cardinals. So we'll see if they can bounce back here. Now they're going up against arguably the worst team in baseball, that being the Chicago White Sox. I believe coming into Friday night's action, they do have the worst record, 15 and 35. They've lost, what, five of six games? Flexen, 5'5 five, five ERA. He went four innings, seven earned his last time out against the Yankees. He's facing another good lineup here in the Orioles. It really comes down to betting the White Sox. I'm really not interested unless Crochet is on the hill, one of their starters. You know, big lefty throws hard. They win when he's on the hill. They really don't win very much when he's not on the hill. And he's not on the hill. It's going to be Flexen up against Corbin Burns, four and two. Back to back, one earned in six inning starts. He's got a 60 to 15 strikeout to walk ratio. I think we get the better starting pitcher, the better overall lineup, better lineup against Hayden Nissa pitcher, and a top five bullpen. Guys, let's go with the run line on the Orioles. I think they win by multiple runs here on the south side. We'll head to the eight o'clock Eastern hour first pitches here with the Chicago Cubs in St. Louis. It's an 8 15 Eastern. Start with Imanaga on the hill for the Cubs. The lefty, arguably the Cy Young favorite right now. Minus 130, that's the Cubs as the favorite. Miles Mikolas on the hill for the Redbirds. Total of eight. The Cubs come in 27 and 24. They've uh, lost three straight series here. But talk about like a stopgap pitcher. You know, the, the, the pitcher you want on the hill when you're betting on a team. Imanaga, he checks that list. 5-0, and oh, sub-1 ERA, back-to-back -back starts blanking in his opponent. He's only given up two earned runs in his last 26 innings. So this guy's hot. Change in speeds here, the former Japanese star. Up against Mikolas, 3-5 and five on the season, near a 6 ERA. Plus the fact last time he faced the Cubs late last year, he gave up 11 hits and five earned runs. Now, the Cardinals are playing good baseball. This isn't one that, like, I would go too big on. They have won three straight, five of six, eight of ten. But overall, I think the Cubs have the better lineup, particularly against handedness of pitcher they're facing. The Cardinals have struggled against lefties. It is a short price here on the Cubbies. I think they find a way to get it done, and Imanaga gets us another solid start. So we'll go on the Cubs. Looks like minus 127 is the low watermark. So that's what we'll go with here. Heading into the overnight betting markets, it's the Cubs, minus 130, we can call it. Next one up, 840 Eastern time, Philadelphia Phillies, Colorado Rockies. It's Christopher Sanchez going for the Phillies and Tyler Block going for the Rockies. So a battle of southpaws here, 10 in the hook being the total a mile high. Phillies, minus 185 favorites. Phillies come in with the best record in baseball. We've talked about it a bunch on the show, guys. Drew's Daily Diamond going daily on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. 37 and 14, best record in baseball. They've won six straight. They've won nine of 10. This lineup, uh, they're good against lefties. They're good against righties. They put up crooked numbers. And Sanchez, when he's on the hill, smooth throwing lefty. 3.3 ERA, three straight solid starts. He's got a 2.5 FIP. So teams are struggling hitting him here. He actually faced Colorado in the middle of April. Went six innings, zero earned runs, had a 10 to one strikeout to walk ratio. So he dominated this Rockies lineup. I'm going to look for him to do that again here, guys. Up against Colorado, spot wise, this is terrible for the Rockies. First game home off the three city road trip. They've lost twice as many games as they've won. They're sitting at 16 and 32 on the season. And their starting pitcher here, he's kind of half starter, half relief arm. That's how his appearances have looked. And he's got over a five ERA. And he went up against what the San Francisco Giants last time out and gave up six earned runs and just three innings completed. I think he's going to struggle against a really good Phillies lineup. 
and the Phillies bullpen is pitching a lot better. So it's the Philadelphia Phillies. We're going to go with the run line again, guys. So we got some away favorites, and we are uh, betting on them to win by margin here. That's the theme so far for Friday night. A couple games left. Next one up, we'll head to Southern California for the Cleveland Guardians and the LA Angels. 938 Eastern, 638 local time start. It's Allen, Logan Allen going for the Guardians. Pablo Sandoval going for the Angels. Minus 105 pick them price tag here. Total of eight in the Battle of Southpaws. Allen back-to-back six innings, zero earned runs, uh, blanking his last two opponents. Uh, he's a former second-round pick in 2020 out of FIU. The former Golden Panther is riding a hot hand himself, and he's behind a hot team right now. The Guardians 33-17 and 17 at top of their division there in the AL Central. They've won nine of ten, and they are a lineup. That really doesn't strike out very much, guys. And they're up against Pablo Sandoval here, who's up and down. You know, you look at his kind of game logs. Sometimes he's going out and pitching really, really well. Sometimes not so much. I mean, you just look at his last two starts. He went six innings in each of the starts, one of them giving up three hits, the other giving up 11 hits. What kind of Sandoval are we going to get? Well, against this Cleveland lineup, I think he's going to struggle here, guys. He's got a 4-5 ERA, and Cleveland's a top-five lineup against lefties. One of, if not the best, bullpen in baseball. Hey, it's Cleveland here, guys. I think this number's short. We can get it as low as minus 103 heading into the overnight betting market. Got one game left. Do want to give a, uh, a reminder to check out wagertalk.com. Uh, Drew Martin, we got the uh, got, got the packages up, premium packages for Friday night. We got the weekend slate coming to you. And we got the uh, the special there. If you buy by May you, or if you buy June, you get the rest of May free. So a value buy there um, if you're interested in pick premium picks at wagertalk.com. And huge shout out to everybody commenting on the show, guys. It really helps the algorithm. Just, you know, whatever you're looking to bet this weekend. And uh, any questions, we'll, uh, we'll have a question section uh, Monday or Tuesday of next week. We already got a couple in the queue. So huge, huge shout out to everybody following along. We got 940 Eastern for the last game for Friday's Drew's Daily Diamond. It's the Yankees and the Padres. Carlos Radon versus Hugh Darvish. Total of seven, low total, but two good pitchers here. Minus 110, actually minus 114 now, as we're seeing the Yankees start to take some money off of this opener you can see why i mean the yankees big following you know big market team and they are winning games you know they're up over double digits on the season they've won nine of 11 they're now 35 and 17 there top of the al east radon has been good five and two 3.2 era 55 to 16 strikeout to walk ratio for the former uh wolf pack there out of nc state it's the number one lineup in baseball Number one lineup against righties and a top five bullpen. You can see why the market loves betting on the Yankees. The only problem here in Petco is up against you, Darvish. Darvish has been absolute money. If you remember Sunday night baseball, he shut down the Atlanta Braves in his last start. He's actually four and one on the season. But the story here, four straight starts blanking his opponent. That's 24 straight scoreless innings. This guy's hot. He's moving. He's He's got great movement on his pitches. He's He's got control. He's right around the plate. So if he's able to pitch like he did last Sunday night, this Yankees side might be in trouble. It's just this Yankees lineup has been dominant pretty much everywhere they go. And the Padres, it's an inter- it's a unique handicap in the sense, overall, they're a game over 500, 27 and 26. But they are just 10 and 16 at home. And the last time playing in Petco, they got swept by the Colorado Rockies, so kind of head scratching there. I mean, I know you Darvish, those good numbers. He's actually only given up two home runs all season long. He's he's near 50 innings on the season, so it's a tough handicap overall. Could see it going both ways. Actually, wouldn't be surprised, you know, if this is a, a dark horse, you know, World Series if the Padres are able to kind of turn it around. Uh, preview matchup, anyway. It, it'd kind of be a long shot, but if the Padres are able to put a couple wins together, it could happen. Either way, guys, I think in this matchup, under minus eh, 120, and who knows, by the time you're watching this early in the morning on Friday, the way the Yankees have been taking money might be a little bit higher. But minus 114, as we're talking right now, let's go with the Bronx Bombers in the uh, the late night special here 
on the West Coast. So that's going to do it for Friday's Drew's Daily Diamond. Thanks for tuning in all. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets. Have a fun, safe weekend. We'll talk on Monday.